Okay, getting started in Illustrator. I'm in Illustrator now. I'm going to click on Create New because I'm going to create a new document. This document is going to be for print. Um, Illustrator default is set at points. Um, it's, and it's also going to be high resolution, so you can leave that alone. Um, this is going to be the same as, if I change this to inches, a sheet of paper, which is perfect. This is what we need. I'm going to go ahead and hit Create, and you'll see that you have a a blank page within a space. Now if I zoomed out, Command minus zooms you out, you'll see that all this dark gray space is your workspace. You can put things in all of that space and anything that is in the white area here will be the things that will print. Alright, so you've got some different tools here. We're going to start with some selection tools. You've got a magic wand, you've got a lasso tool, a pen tool, we'll get to these later, a text tool, some line segment tools and uh, various other ones that are used for infographics and other things like that. And then you've got some shape tools. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to build a burger. I'm going to do a burger, I'm going to do a fries, I'm going to do a drink, and just using shapes, simple shapes here in Illustrator. Now what's interesting about Illustrator is if I click and I hold with my mouse and I go to the very edge, I could tear off the tools that are there and move them to a different part of the document. I'm going to start by drawing a circle. That I'm, this is going to be my bun for my burger. So I'm going to draw my circle. I'm going to make it nice and large um, so I can see it well. Um, this is an interesting tool here for in the newer versions of Illustrator where you can use that for infographics and other kind of pie charts and things like that. Right now this shape, this this ellipse, this circle that I drew has, um, these are my points, this is my path, right see how my cursor is showing me those things. The inside color, the fill is white, the stroke is black. I'm going to take out my swatches panel, um, if we go down to window and swatches, or I do notice that I've got it over here, it's that kind of grid, and I'm going to give it a brown color, that's going to be my burger color. I'm going to take my eraser tool. I can change the size of the eraser tool by using the brackets next to the letter P. And I'm going to cut this shape in half. And this is going to be my bun. There we go. Now they're both selected, so I have to deselect. I'm going to take my selection tool and just click anywhere that's not on them to separate them and pull them apart. Okay, so I've got my top half of my bun and my bottom half of the bun. You'll see that I've got all my transformation controls so I can rotate, I can squash, I can resize, I can do all those sorts of things as well now that I've kind of separated the two. All right, I'm going to do my meat patty, right? So let me draw kind of a rounded rectangle here. I want this to be a darker brown. So we go and choose a darker brown there. Um, right now, all my shapes have a stroke on them. So I'm going to mess with that in a little bit. But um, what I want to do here is I want my burger to be inside the bun. So I need to send it to the back. So I'm going to go to the object menu. I'm going to choose a range and I'm going to go send to back. I've got my meat there. I'm going to add some cheese. For the cheese, I'm actually going to use the star. When you're drawing with the star tool, before you let go of the mouse, you can use the arrows on the keyboard to minimize the points on the star. So this is going to be my cheese. All right. And then i got to kind of like squash it. I'm going to kind of pull it out here a little bit. Rotate it. Actually, I want it to be this way. Just squash it and then stretch it. I like a lot of cheese, so I'm going to get some cheese over here. Uh, I'm going to duplicate this cheese holding Option or Alt on the keyboard. You can get a double, right? So there's my double. I got a double cheese. Double cheeseburger. I can add another patty if I wanted to. Option click. I would add a second patty, and it's good to be behind. Actually, let's do this. Grab my Shift adds to a selection. So I have this one selected. I hold Shift. I get that one. Oh, I forgot to duplicate it. Um, option click. Now I got double cheese. There you go. Nice, nice double cheese. Um, this burger I need to object arrange, send to the back. There it goes. Okay. Next I'm going to add some lettuce, right? A little bit of green on top of this meat. Get my green, make it green there. The tool that I'm going to use to kind of wave the lettuce and make it look all wavy and fun is the warp tool. It's going to be hidden under here. It's actually not the warp tool. It's one of the warp tools. But it's going to be this last one over here, and it's the wrinkle tool. So if I choose the wrinkle tool and I kind of drag my cursor over it, you'll see that it wrinkles up the shape that's there. To change the size of this tool, if I hold the option on the keyboard and I click and I drag, I can make this tool even larger more rounded or I can even, and that's going to distort it even more. All right, now I've got some lettuce on there. How about some tomato? Okay, tomato. Let's make it red. Need two of those. 
rotate them a little bit so they're a little bit, there we go, a little bit off. Now let's put the bun right on top, right? Now the bun's behind, so I'm going to go object, arrange, bring to front. There we go. And there's my burger. Now if I take and I make a selection around the entire burger, I can squash it and change it and reshape it in that way as well. Now let's say I wanted the bottom of the burger to be more straighter. I mean, it's, it's curved. How would it sit on a plate per se, right? So let me grab this, this shape right here. I'm going to take my eraser tool, the brackets next to letter P, make the brush bigger and smaller. And because that one shape is selected, I can erase from it. Kind of change the shape of that a little bit. I'm just going to kind of smooth that bottom part out. When I let go, there's my bottom bun. Alrighty, there we go. So there's my burger. All right. Um, let's make a fry box here. Okay, so I need a red. I'm going to go with Channel McDonald's here, right? Remember I said that the shapes are made up of paths and points, so paths and points. Um, this tool, the direct selection, will always pick up the shape as a whole. These, by the way, are little anchors that you can use to change the shape if you want to. You could always pull it back out again. But this guy, this is called a direct selection tool, and I could pick up individual points. I clicked on it, and I can modify and move that point in, kind of, Trying to make it look like the McDonald's boxes. It's kind of fun that you can you can modify it in that way just by picking up individual points within the path. Um, the space bar at any time turns my cursor into a hand tool and I can move my image around. I'm going to take my eraser again. I'm going to make my eraser nice and big. I'm just going to chunk out the very top of the box there. Oh, there we go. And then I'm going to draw some fries. Okay. I'm going to draw one fry, and then by holding Alt or Option, I'm going to duplicate that. I'm just holding Alt and Option and clicking and clicking and clicking, making more fries and more fries and more fries. Then I'm going to select all those fries, Object, Arrange, Send to Back. And then I'm going to take my eraser to erase the ones that are kind of showing up there. There we go. There's my, my fries. That's pretty quick, right? Squash it a little bit. Command Minus is going to zoom out. And plus zooms in. I'm gonna slide this guy right behind. Actually, now it's too small. Let me make it bigger. Behind my burger, object, arrange, send to back. And actually, while I'm at it, I'm gonna go to object and group. That's gonna group all those pieces together, right? Because it's a bunch of little pieces. But now that I grouped it, it's gonna be it's gonna it's grouped all together and it's always one piece now, right? So let me do that down here. Object group. So now it's gonna be one piece when I click on a single click to grab it, and then I can so, you know, it's already been sent to the back, so it's going to be behind the burger there. If I wanted to put a color to the background, like, like if I wanted to give the background a color, say this was an advertisement, I'm just going to draw one big box, right? And this is going to be, see how it covered everything. Let's choose a nice color there, a nice blue. Object, arrange, and send to back. And there you've got um, an, a be the beginning of an illustration. Thanks for watching.